how demons operate right how do they operate what is the system of operation in a demonic kingdom what what is the basis how do they operate what has made them so powerful like this what has made them so powerful that from asia to the us to the uk to the middle east to africa it looks like there are networks of operation that keep men in a common captivity same problem regardless of location what sort of orderly civilization is that that they can destroy the lives of people from villages to towns to cities and all of that we have not been able to build a network that has covered the whole world like that they can be strong in regions yet the devil has built an arsenal that for as long as you are upon the face of this earth there is a system of reaching you there are three main ways three main ways that demons and satan listen carefully there are three main ways that demons and satan have access to all men including believers only three from the authority of scripture there are only three ways number one write it down covenants number one covenants hmm. covenants let's talk about it please look up you can get my teaching the altar of prayer listen to it it will bless you covenants for most of us all we know about covenants is just the old and the new testament that um you know the old testament a foreshadow of the new and the new and so on and so forth as wonderful as that is that is not the only idea about covenants write this down please a covenant is a system of authorization a covenant is a system of authorization between two or more people a covenant is a system of authorization between two or more people ratified by the mystery of blood ratified by or with whichever the mystery of blood with mutual advantages if kept with mutual advantages if kept and severe consequences if violated with mutual advantages if kept and severe consequences if violated that's a covenant a system of agreement a system of authorization between two or more people or persons it's possible that it, it can be a covenant between a spirit being are we together now that the basis of that covenant that is usually ratified by blood is to create a system where there is mutual benefit where the terms well defined the well-defined terms of that covenant are kept and then with severe consequences listen the concept of covenant predates old and new testament you have to understand this the concept of covenant predates old and new testament a system of agreement you read genesis 1 you see a lot of things that god did there are we together and that god signified lights to do certain things to the earth are we together now and they've seen being in obedience there is a system a covenant with the earth that the earth will produce after its kind you don't sow mango and reap banana under no condition are we together if you sow mango you don't have to tell the earth earth 
make his mango I sow. No, you just plant mango and it will reap after its kind. Very accurately. Noah read an altar in Genesis chapter 8. And the Bible tells us that God smelled a sweet savour, and God made a covenant of seed time and harvest signified with the rainbow. Is that true? Many other covenants happen. Listen, there are personal covenants. There are territorial covenants. It's not just a covenant of Old and New Testament. In the Bible, people had personal covenants with God. Very personal covenants. Lord, let us agree that this level of assistance comes to me. And if you do this to me, some of the covenants had one-time conditions and benefits after it, it was gone there were covenants in the bible that the bible will tell you this is for an everlasting covenant everlasting are we together now yes so there are all kinds of covenants an agreement between two or more people that has mutual benefits are we together if obeyed if complied and has a disaster many families africa as a continent is amazing is amazing how with the number of churches there are more churches than there are companies in africa yet the economy has not grown yet many things have not happened our soil is the most productive of all soils in all the seven continents yet in the midst of it israel israel unbelievers who don't love god they farm on top of mountains and yet they export food and we eat it here those while they are farming they are insulting god yet there is a covenant upon their land that commits God to bless them they can talk nonsense against the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob you would think God will arise in his fury and curse them how about the Ishmaelites the covenant with Abraham that Ishmael became a partaker of forget the fact that he was a child born out of I don't know what he was illegitimate or whatever it is still covenant because remember when Ishmael was crying and Hagar was crying heaven had only the voice of Ishmael and God came to the rescue because of Ishmael and that Abrahamic blessing is still at work till today strangely look at the Middle East a small nation with oil that is greater than that of Nigeria very pockets of nations yet their economy in strange way is not normal my brother my sister it's not normal are we together the first system of authorization that we know on earth that authorizes both god and more importantly for our discussion tonight demon spirits is covenant i will take out time to explain all those ones number two write it down the second system of authorization is disobedience 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 is a force in the spirit just like obedience is a force disobedience is a force it can do things obedience is a force it can make things happen Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 the Bible says and it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command thee this day it says that the Lord thy God will set thee on high there is a condition above all the nations of the earth verse 2 and all these blessings will pursue you and overtake you are we together now if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord verse 3 begins to list the blessings blessed shall thou be in the city blessed shall thou be in the field blessed shall be your needing trough the fruit of your body are you seeing it there now obedience for the blessing of the fruit of your body and the fruit of your ground the fruit of your cattle the increase of this and that and that go to verse 13 
and the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail thou shalt be above only and thou shalt not be beneath if thou shalt hearken if thou shalt hearken to the commands of the Lord and all of that you now begin to read from verse 14 read down it says but if you do not hearken this list of causes shall come upon you he said and shall not go aside we read it down and then it tells you the list of many bad things let's see a few of them uh let's try 16 cause shall thou be in the city are you seeing the opposite now who is speaking god cause shall thou be in the field 17 cause shall be thy basket a man had a dream he was holding three baskets on his head you call that breakthrough but joseph said ah this dream means in three days the beds that you will be hanged if you saw yourself with basket with food in the dream would you get up and dance but a basket can be cursed the guy was having three baskets and the birds came and ate it here's joseph's interpretation in three days the pharaoh will finally conclude on you they are going to catch you they will hang you and the birds will eat your flesh Cause shall be thy basket and thy store. Let's read to 20 and we'll stop there. Cause shall be the fruit of your body. Intelligent people, what is the fruit of your body? Talk to me. What is the fruit of your body? Are you seeing that now? And the fruit of your land, the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. 19. Cause shall thou be when thou come in, whether in America or Nigeria cause shall thou be when thou go out in case you think the problem is <laughs> the lord shall send upon thee cursing vexation families rebuke in all that thou settest thy hands for to do until thou be destroyed and until thou perish how fast because of the wickedness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me just leave it there disobedience the blood of jesus does not give authorization or it does not excuse the the force of disobedience is still at work the same way the force of obedience is still at work are we together the bible says a cause causeless shall not stand but a cause that has a cause shall stand this is a description of many lives and many families although we will not admit it but it's very clear that this is a description of many lives and many destinies obedience obedience disobedience i hope you know that there is a spirit that works in men to make them disobey because satan knows that until you are assisted by a spirit you can't disobey sufficient to allow him have access access to your life consistent disobedience is being empowered by a spirit there is a spirit that works you can't call let me tell you human beings are not so bad when somebody walks in disobedience and rebellion perpetually there is a spirit that assists you authorization number three the third authorization is ignorance 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 Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 ignorance these are the tripartite systems the systems the access the only access points that Satan has Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 let me quote it it says having their understanding darkened then it says alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them so what is the situation here having their understanding darkened there is no understanding then it says as a result being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them it said because of the blindness of their heart that means a man who is in ignorance a woman who is in ignorance or a state of insufficient understanding is a gate pass to Satan and his demons to come and destroy and shred your life into pieces let me tell you this much more than causes uh, and covenants much more than disobedience 
this is where many well-meaning people come to. They have worked well to break courses in their lives. They have worked well to receive grace for obedience, but they have not obtained grace for spiritual intelligence to know what to do. Psalms 82 verse 5. Psalms 82 and verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. Are you seeing that now? And all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Verse 6 says, Have I not said, Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High? Verse 7 says, But you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. Ignorance, not knowing what to do. The Bible says, Jesus himself knew what to do. These three access points, listen. All the chaos you see in the world is predicated upon this tree. A covenant that has authorized Satan to come into lives and families on a legal basis. And let me tell you this. Maybe next week I will explain to you how they individually work. But let me give you a little appetizer. Covenants are not casted. You don't cast and in the name of Jesus, I cast that covenant. No. This is where we mock ourselves. Come, promise. Look at this if promise god forbid just an example right if promise is a thief and this is my phone watch this and promise wants to quickly pick the phone and run away if he hears my footsteps coming what will he do he will run because he's a thief are we together but if promise gave somebody money who claimed that this phone is his own and promise wants to pick it what do you think will happen if he sees me coming a legal transaction occurred he's not going to run he will pick it and i say leave my phone he say what is that it has to take another person to come and settle us i can't push him and say go away there must be a legal basis of proving that the phone is mine the spirits that buffet our families have access our families through covenants they are not illegal occupants they were covenanted intentionally our fathers called them for assistance come and help us in the time of war come and help us and they say what is the agreement the agreement is that all our children will serve you and then some missionaries just flew from from america and just came and died of malaria is it malaria that really killed them come on africa talk to me is it malaria that really killed them no sir let's be wise it can't be malaria they had the gospel of salvation but the missionaries did not know the gospel of the kingdom are we together now the gospel of salvation a revelation of the father's love through the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus and that's what they came to do and all of a sudden they saw a shrine and said destroy it and leave it and they just kicked the pot and the missionary died two days later are we together now some of us carried certain pots and certain instruments of covenant and destroyed them and believed that we are free they say now everything is destroyed everybody just give thanks and go and they laugh at you from the realm of the spirit the bible says that when a strong man comes to a house and lays claim of a possession he says it will take one greater than he to come and dislodge him and collect those possessions is that true this is what we do not understand there are legal manifestations for as long let me tell you even your salvation did not stop you from looking like your biological father you didn't get born again and suddenly changed to look like an angel in spite of your being born again they can still see you and say uh -uh, are you so 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 son that blood that genetics is still in force if you looked at jesus and you looked at mary you will know ah is this your mother i say yes now in the flesh are we together that was the reason why when jesus resurrected and when john saw him in revelation john could not recognize him on earth they could recognize him of course this is mary's son no it was not a thing of controversy but now they saw him in a radiance they said what is this now who is this one no. 
covenants have destroyed us the north has covenants listen carefully the south has covenants the east has covenants listen carefully brothers and sisters northern and hear me beloved brothers and sisters we are not just lazy for nothing there is a spirit making it happen are we together now i don't mean to be sarcastic easterners when they say you love money so much it's not an insult there is a spirit responsible for that thing southerners the same thing all of us were like that if you see any man that is not affected by those things he has tapped into another dimension that has corrected it that's the goal of this series to help you tap into something that all of a sudden will set you free and you will rise and your children will say daddy we used to hear that people who come from this place they are like this and he says son something happened on the way before you were born there was a long story i attended koinonia and something happened some things were corrected once and for all once and for all.